This week's installment of Recently Added is a movie that Zed picked, 2012's Stolen. And uh, according to the Netflix description, a master thief is ready to leave his criminal past behind, but when his daughter is kidnapped, he's forced to pull off one last heist. And here's the cover. I knew I was going to like this one from the beginning. I mean, the cover has Nicolas Cage running from a car that's on fire. I mean, it has Nicolas Cage. What else matters? I'm going to have to agree with Adam on this one. What else matters? Plus, neither of us have seen the movie Taken, and this movie sounds a lot like... Yeah, it sounds Taken. really Taken, Stolen, so... I mean, they're synonyms with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, what else matters? Before we go any further, we need to talk about the legend that is Nicolas Cage. I mean, people speak negatively uh, about Nicolas Cage, but they obviously haven't seen his movies like Leaving Las Vegas, Adaptation, Raising Arizona, the list goes on. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, sometimes how good of an actor he is uh, forces the producers to pay him so much money that they need to cut corners everywhere else in the film. Yeah, I mean, we, we noticed that there were not a single recognizable face in the movie beyond Nicolas Cage. Uh, there were no special effects, big explosions. Mm -hmm. And his character really loved Creedence Clearwater Revival, but the only two Creedence songs they used were ones we had never heard before. Really cheap. We really liked how Stolen offered a, a different perspective on New Orleans Mardi Gras than uh, what we're used to in you know these party-type movies. Mm -hmm. Like, what's it like looking for your kidnapped daughter amidst a bunch of drunken people in beads. Or uh, what's it like being a cab driver and dealing with Mardi Gras traffic? Or what's it like being a criminal on a day when there's so much police presence? Yeah, I mean, th these are all things that uh, Stolen kind of made us think about. Plus, it was a nice return to New Orleans for Nicolas Cage since Bad Lieutenant. While this might not be as uh, weird or you know cool to watch as uh, Bad Lieutenant, it's still a good movie. Yeah. It's a good movie. You know he has a house there in New Orleans? And in addition to Nicolas Cage, there were a lot of very funny characters in Stolen. Yeah, like the bad guy was basically a pirate. He had long hair, a gruff voice, and a peg leg. I mean, if you weren't sure that he was the villain, he had the word evil tattooed on his hand. Uh, helpful. And all the cop characters are very silly. Uh, for instance, when Nicolas Cage was uh, trying to convince them that the pirate guy had faked his own death... <laughs> guy goes, man, first thing I would do if I came back from the dead is go to Blanche's Kebel Ray to see some naked women. That guy was definitely gay and hiding it. And the best character was, of course, the Cajun Louis De Palma-esque cab dispatcher. I mean, this guy was basically a cartoon character. Look here! Who that is, mon ami? And, and, and in his final scene, near the end, the accent just drops to be fair it's a tough one to do and so eventually there, there's a twist that involves cage having to go back to the same bank that got him in prison for one last robbery but this time he cuts a hole in the floor with a heat gun and melts all the gold out into a bucket and and this gold he has to give to to the pirate to get his daughter back but it's not a clean transaction and there's a big fight mm -hmm. and of course the pirate dies by getting stabbed with the harpoon Overall, I thought this was a pretty good one. Um, it's a good movie to just put on and sort of zone out to. You can have friends over, and there can be talking and drinking and smoking, and you can not really pay attention to the movie, but still get everything out of it. I totally agree with Adam. Uh, this is a great movie to watch, uh, action-wise. There aren't any lulls in the movie, so you never get that moment to kind of, you know, go to yourself, what am I watching right now? This is terrible. It keeps moving, and it was really nice that it's not one of those self-aware, cheesy movies. There's never any of that tongue-in-cheek stuff. So, great Nicolas Cage movie. What did you think?